Hey you guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and um, let you guys see who won the last little giveaway. And um, just a quick disclaimer, this is kind of a crappy demo. Um, I'd appreciate if you'd watch it and stick around to the end because it's really not that bad of a review. Um, I don't know what's wrong with me between breaking the bombs lately, getting them out, and just the duds, but um, I really appreciate you guys watching. And as you can see, Vivi X is the winner of this drawing, so go ahead and email me at oldmomnutrix at gmail.com and I will get your prize out to you. Enjoy the demo, you guys. Thanks. Okay, you guys. I am back today with another Lush bath bomb from Les Christmas's line. And um, I told you guys that I wanted to do some, like a Christmas in July thing that um, Australia has going on. And um, this one is the Golden Wonder. And this is absolutely my very, very favorite Lush bath bomb. Um, it's described as cognac, sweet orange, and lime. And this one, the sweet orange and lime is just exactly like the Nevermind the Ballistics, but it's got that little extra fizzy, champagne-y oomph that um, Nevermind the Ballistics didn't have. Um, I just described this the other day to someone as a sophisticated sweet tart. Um, I think it does smell a lot, lot like a sweet tart, but it does have that little fizzy extra adult scent to it too, but it is not perfumey because I can't do perfume. I get a headache, um, but I just absolutely love it. So, um, and also if you shake it, I don't know if you can hear it, it, um, it's got a little something in it. It's supposed to be like a little gift, obviously, but, um, yes, yeah, so it's got a little, they say it has a little surprise inside. So anyway, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get in the water and see what it looks like. And I've been hoarding this since Christmas. It's my very, very last one, so I'm really excited to use it. But I'm kind of, I'll be sad at the same time because then I won't have it anymore. And, um, I, you know, I just hope that they'll put some more out this next Christmas. And I have had this sitting out for several days because, you know, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to sniff it anymore. And it is very, very fragrant. So I've been enjoying it for a few days. And I've had several of these bath bombs. Okay, well, <laughs> it's sunk. I don't know if it's gonna come back. This has been demoed so many times all over Instagram and, and YouTube. Um, you know, it's old. <laughs> it's just old, but it turns the water an absolutely beautiful, beautiful color, and it's got a whole, whole lot of shimmer in it. It might pop, pop back up, we'll see. I mean, it's not the best show in the world anyway. It doesn't swirl on top of the water that much or anything. It's just, to me, it's the scent and the color that it turns the water. There's the little bow. You know what y'all probably rather see? <laughs> My sweet little companion over there. He is always, always over there during my baths. Just keeping me company. And I've shown on Instagram before, he just absolutely loves the bubbles. <laughs> and our bath bomb is still sitting at the bottom of the tub. Okay, let's 
I don't ever do this. I just, I know a lot of people do this. I'm not like big on getting things under my fingernails. <laughs> so. All right, well, I mean, that was just a dud. A terrible, terrible dud, and it's just sitting on the bottom of the tub. Okay, well, let's just see what, <laughs> I don't even remember what the bubbles do. <clears throat> okay, let's just cut them on. I think it's all that luster that's sitting on the bottom of the tub. And it's getting dark, so I don't have the best light either to show you the color of the water. So, this is just maybe just a sorry little demo. And, you know, I just, I don't see any bubbles. But, you know, that's just really not that big a deal to me because I like to leave the jets on. So, let me just, um, let me turn those off. Look at that sunset. So, so pretty. It's gorgeous. Maybe that makes up for the terrible demo. <laughs> Okay, there's the beautiful gold shimmer. Tub is just absolutely filled with it. Now that <laughs> luster, I love. And if you can hardly see it in the water, you're not gonna be able to see it on me. All right, guys, so here is what's left of my Golden Wonder bath bomb, and it wasn't much of a wonder, was it? <laughs> okay, it's just um, that gold luster that's in the bottom of the tub, and it's going to rinse right down. So here's the thing. Um, I'm sorry. First of all, I'm sorry about the crappy demo. Um, hopefully, you know, a shot of my dog and a nice sunset made up for it. Um, so here, here are my final thoughts. Um, I did still enjoy the scent, and even though there wasn't much of a show, you know, the luster in the water was still pretty, and the color of the water wasn't as pretty as I remembered, but this is what I think about that. Okay, so last Christmas, I wasn't too familiar with bath bombs. These were some of my first, the ones I purchased at Lush over Christmas. Since then, I've had so many other bath bombs from indie companies, I think that I'm a lot less wowed now by these last few Lush Bombs. Even if this had performed like I had remembered, I think that I have just grown in my bath bomb knowledge, like um, the Twilight from Something Wicked the other day, from the Spoil Yourself Silly um, Snow Cone, just off the top of my head, um, just the Mad Bombers, um, just, you know, off the top of my head. Um, I've had so many, the Philly Fizzlers, I've had just so many awesome bath bombs. I just don't know that these are my favorite. So, um, yeah, I think maybe I just remembered that those were great because they were my first ones and maybe they're just a little lackluster to me now. So anyway, those are just my final thoughts. And um, so I'm gonna do a couple more. Um, I'm gonna do Sheet for the Stars and I'm gonna add Frozen on there even though I did just buy it and it's not really um, one from the Christmas collection. It's just, you know, it's wintry. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one too because I've never done it before. And then I'm gonna get back to my indie companies. So, um, and I also wanna do a scrub video, sugar scrub video because I've got a nice little collection of those now and I wanna kinda of compare and contrast those for you guys too. But anyway, I know you're tired of looking at my dirty little tub now and this wasn't the best video in the world so I'm gonna let you guys go. But um, thanks for watching and I'll just see you guys next time hopefully to do a better demo than this. <laughs> see you guys later. Thanks, bye.